Hello, I'm Brigantia Blackbird of Blackbird's Brew. Happy Thursday and welcome to the Pagan Housewife. As you can tell by this video's title, today we are talking about Lunasa, Freyfaxi, First Harvest, First Shadow. Call it what you like, but this season is upon us, or at least almost. It's hard to believe that we're just days away from the first harvest celebration of the year, especially when we are experiencing massive heat waves, rather peculiar weather season, and it just doesn't quite feel like we're ready for this next meal. The term is time in accordance with the rhythms of the earth. Every pagan culture with which I am familiar had harvest celebrations of one kind or another. And indeed, after the conversion, the importance of the harvest had such meaning for for the continued survival of the people, that the celebrations just uh, adopted a Christian overlay, just a little overlay. And the church pretended that, you know, everything was just owing to their God, and, you know, that's how things persisted for centuries. But old grievances aside, the literal harvesting of crops and animals are no less necessary in our modern age. We are entirely dependent upon farmers and ranchers producing enough food to, to sustain our society. The work they do is difficult, and it is often thankless. But without that work, our civilization would collapse, and we would cease to be. It's fitting that we carry on the tradition of celebrating the first fruits of the harvest and acknowledging the shift in the year by beginning to think about winter preparations. We know, we, I, I know, we, we may feel like we're melting right now, and we probably are, but before we know it, the chill of autumn's winds will be with us, and winter is just around the corner from there. So we do need to start getting on top of this. Now, the Celtic god Lu and the Norse god Freyr are traditional and prominent deities to honor during the celebration, but it is perfectly proper to honor any, or if you want, even every god and goddess associated with agriculture and the harvest. Uh, this is often a working holiday because whatever crops that can be harvested or what you gather in from your home garden, well, it's not going to bring itself in, is it? We have to put forth the effort, and then we are involved in the business of you know, using what's been produced, preserving it, sharing or selling it. And this is just the beginning of that process, at the beginning of the harvest season. And the celebration extends beyond the world of agriculture. It's also a time to celebrate and to showcase good craftsmanship. As we go into August and September, uh, fairs of all kinds will take place. And that's always a good opportunity for local artisans to display and to sell what they've made, as, as well as for hobbyists to enter competitions and you know get a chance to shine. And what would this year be without any fun and games? And it's just as well that state fairs and more local fairs are about to you know get into gear and start happening. Uh, there's always plenty of amusement to go along with these occasions. And I, I tend to think that this is just a modern evolution of the games of Lou that were played by the pre-Christian Celts. It's an enduring echo of what once was, even if people don't realize it. Now we have plenty of ways to celebrate this time of year within the household and within our pagan community. Blackbird's Brew on Gilded will be holding a ritual on the evening of August 1st, and earlier that day I will be making the supreme sacrifice of turning on the oven uh, to bake fresh bread. I don't usually turn on the oven during sub, uh, summer months. We have enough heat to contend with as it is, but uh, Unasa is a special, special occasion. And uh, I use this bread as a, a gratitude for the harvest and as a sacrifice and offering for the evening ritual. So it does serve a purpose. You know, we're not suffering just to suffer. Now, within the home, planning a special feast composed of seasonal dishes is always an appropriate thing to do, as is offering special prayers of gratitude towards the agricultural deities that you and your family are connected to. It's also a good idea to, you know, to tidy up around the garden and around the home as just as a means of preparing. You know, it isn't time to put away the summer things and then get out the winter clothes and the winter bedding and the decor and all that out of storage. Uh, but it is a good time to start making room and doing maybe a bit deeper and more thorough of a clean so that when the moment comes for the next seasonal transition and we are getting the cold weather stuff out, you know, we're ready to go and we're not having to do all the work all at once. So uh, think about what you've created this past year and if it's come to fruition yet. Have you been working towards the intentions that you set at the beginning of the year? Do you have anything to show for it? Are you working in a way that will get you results? It's worth contemplating and making necessary adjustments before winter comes upon us. So that's what I have for you today. And um, if you'd like to share your own uh, particular traditions regarding this holiday, whatever you choose to call it, uh, tell me all about it in the comments section, or better yet, start the conversation at Blackbird's Brew on Gilded. Link in the description box to join us, and you are very, very welcome, and I do hope to see you soon. Uh, but that'll do it for now, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.